boys and girls, it's Mrs. Murphy. It's time for math. In today's lesson, we are going to be decomposing the numbers 17, 18, and 19. Repeat after me. I can decompose the numbers 17, 18, and 19. Let's say it all together. I can decompose the numbers 17, 18, and 19. Before we do, we need to review. What does that word decompose mean? Hmm. Think about our motion. You should have said it means to break apart. So that means we're going to take the numbers 17, 18, and 19 and break them into their parts. Let's check out our learning video. Alex has a cube tower. How many cubes high is his cube tower? Let's count the cubes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Great counting! Alex's cube tower is 17 cubes high. Alex breaks apart the cube tower into two groups. How many blue cubes are there? How many red cubes are there? Well, they already wrote the number for us, but can you tell me what you would do if you needed to figure out how many of each color? You're right, you could count each group of cubes. You would find out there are 10 blue and 7 red. There are 10 blue cubes. There are 7 red cubes. Alex put the cubes in a double 10 frame. How many cubes did he put in the top 10 frame? How many cubes did he put in the bottom 10 frame? Again, we can just read that number. How many in the top? You got it. How many in the bottom? Great job. He put 10 cubes in the top 10 frame. He put 7 cubes in the bottom 10 frame. How many cubes are there in all? Do you remember how many cubes there were when we had our great big tower? You're right, there were 17. There are 17 cubes in all. Does this equation match the cubes? Let's read the equation together. Ready? 17 equals 10 plus 7. Yes, the equation matches the cubes. What does each number in the equation represent? Go ahead and see if you can figure out what each number represents. What does the 17 represent? What about the 10? And the 7? Let's listen and see if you got it right. 17 represents the number of cubes in all. 10 represents the number of cubes in the top 10 frame. 7 represents the number of cubes in the bottom 10 frame. And that's it. That's how you find the parts of 17, 18, and 19. If you liked this video and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.